Well, this is space. There's space all over the place. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. Thor News presents... This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Not a drill. SETI is investigating a possible extraterrestrial signal from deep space. No, but it totally is a drill because they found this thing like a long time ago. More than a year ago. If the signal is truly from an alien world, it's one far more advanced than ours. That's right. We've gone back in time to get Jodie Foster, because aliens have made contact? Which dimensions are we talking about contact in? This dimension. That dimension. Dimensions across. An international team of scientists from the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, is investigating mysterious signal spikes emitting from a 6.3 billion year old star in the constellation Hercules. Hell yeah! It's 95 light years away from Earth, say scientists who don't understand how fast planets and stars can really travel. The implications are extraordinary and point to the possibility of a civilization far more advanced than our own. Okay, first of all, the team is reputable because they're international. Not only do you have a group of scientists, you have an international group of scientists whose only job is to search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Human or non-human. Earthling friendly or non-earthling friendly. It's their job to search for them. And the cat said, remember bring up dark energy and dark matter. A mysterious signal. Spike. So it was like there already. It was like the Beatles going on and on. All of a sudden the Beatles got louder. There's already like something going on there. And then she gets loud. Really loud. Like a second. What does the signal sound like? I guess it depends what frequency it's on. Well, if it's on the eyeball frequency, like body language is sending a signal. Yeah. Yeah, this is just in, like, radio. It's like you listen to the radio and all of a sudden it got really loud. As opposed to the static. Oh, that just means they're close. It's not blue shifting, it's not red shifting, it's radio shifting. True story! Rock and roll science, Hercules, say jam me. Talking about aliens. Hold on, I got S Steven Spielberg on line 7. Gonna talk to us about E.T. and... Putting aliens in Indiana Jones just after the next commercial break. Shit! We don't have a commercial break. So I don't know how to get to Steven. I forgot how to read. Can you do it? The unusual signal was originally detected on May 15th, 2015 by the Russian Academy of Science operated Rutan 600 radio telescope. I'm not saying that word in Russia, but was kept secret from the international community. Wow. Wasn't kept secret very long. Zelenchukskaya. 
Russia. Does that help you know where it is? Like, that doesn't help me know where it is. Wait, what was kept secret? I was thinking of that is really only one letter move away from Satan. Where? Oh. R. Yeah. Next letter is S. If you put an S there, it changes the whole meaning of the telescope. Or at least the way you think about it. It's like, holy shit, that telescope might be evil. Super evil. It's only two digits away from 666, too. That telescope is my nemesis. It's a radio telescope. Which means they look at stuff with their ears? Say a signal with multiple layers for information? I don't know, I'm sure it's more complicated than that, but... They're setting it to 600. Yeah, I don't know what that stands for. That yeah. stands for 300 times 2. But why would they keep it secret from the international community? Now what we're talking about here, what we're talking about is the international community, the national community, the solar system community, the galaxy community, the universal community, and then you got like the alternate universal communities, which you just times all that stuff by seven, I think. One of these communities kept it secret from... Everybody or just like Earth community? Maybe just from the U.S. community. We release all the astronomical data how and when we want to. Interstellar politics is all local. But we're not on Data Hub. Any Data Hubs come to us. Oh, I see that. I don't know if you know this. Apparently, other people out there have watched parts of our adventures on the YouTubes. Yeah. Well, all the cats going crazy. Did you see she walked over through the plastic bag up in the air? As that one movie said, the plastic bag is the meaning of life. Yeah, a cat's totally not the meaning of life. The cat is in the bag. Hey, okay, so we're talking about Star Lords, SETI guys. They have women at SETI? Mysterious stars. Designation is HD164595. And it's considered to be sun like in its nature. With a nearly identical metallic composition to our own star. So far, a single Neptune like Planet 9, but warmer planet, has been discovered in its orbit. HD 164595b, but as Gilster explained, there could, of course, be other planets still undetected in this system. Wait, but I ain't gotta worry, right? Because these guys are 95 million trillion billion gazillion quadrillion miles away. So they're just sending us... Kites of smoke in the sky saying, we're louder now. Uh, maybe, maybe not. You'll kind of see, I think the article talks about, depending on the source of the signal, it would take, like, civilizations much further advanced than ours to send the signal either way they understand it. To me, I think it's cool to find, like, a stellar sibling born in the same particles. I think that would be significant. Maybe we could switch places. If only if you get lucky. Or maybe there's a planet that has 
humans that are like us because we were all born from the same cloud. So they're going to be like humans like us there. But smarter, I guess they're saying. I think it's more of a lake than a cloud. And the cat paws the meaning of that. Decorated Italian city researcher and mathematician <laughs> Claudio Marconi, along with Russia's Nikolai Bursov of the Special Astrophysical Observatory of the principal scientists working on the apparent discovery. Apparently, they claim that permanent monitoring of this target is needed and that is a poor choice of words. Perpetual monitoring. Target. Well, if you go to Target the store, they permanently monitor you while you're there. It's like they can legally always monitor you if there's a Target on you, I guess. Or you're in the Target. Target is weird because we like to send nuclear bombs to go do science on other planets. And then we slam them into every planet that we go to. I don't know. They put a lot of money into dark energy, dark matter, and bomb tech. Rocketry and explosives. It's a hell of a thing. It's like giants and gods in a time created the ultimate dynamite, which created the Big Bang. Maybe I could get crayon to uh, be our advertiser. I mean, which one of you bitches don't like crayons? What we're talking about, hey, who do you think would win in a fight, SETI or CERN? Wait, who do you think would win in a competition? I don't want to see each other's so be each other's target. Look, scroll down a little bit more. This picture totally looks like the Teletubbies. That's where the Teletubbies live. Whoa. So then they're cool. Or at least they're not. Okay, I wouldn't say they're cool. Then they're like peaceful and dancing. Who, the Teletubbies or the telescope? Possibly the aliens. I don't know. I think they could possibly be like us. Well, but smarter. That's what they're saying. More far technologically advanced. The signal conceivably fits the profile for an international transmission from an extraterrestrial source. I want to remind people, extraterrestrial means not from Earth, from somewhere other than our Terra. Well, I guess you could fight for many definitions of the word. The more important word in that is intentional transmission. Oh. Intentional is intelligence. Yeah, it's like a mixtape. Maybe another planet is sending us a mixtape. Totally. Except for we have to know how to hear it. You know, we have to know how to play the tape. Or you have to know how to tell the people how how to play the tape. Yeah, well, the people have to understand how to... What you're saying. <laughs> the problem that, like... Wasn't there a part in this article that said... Wait, uh... Kept secret. Okay, so here we're talking about Russia. Rattan kept secret international community. This is like an Avengers, Mission Impossible, Cloak and Dagger Swagger, Astronomy militarization of monetization with prison planet aspects action adventure type story with romance right. hey i wonder if russia signed the paper probably or do we have to sign their paper they're probably like give us whatever papers you got we'll sign them 
Cause we got planets everywhere, man. Planets are everywhere. Man, is that a star? Maybe it's a failed star. Maybe it's a star overachiever. It's a mysterious star. So says this article. So say we all. And why is it so mysterious if we got one exactly like it? The closest thing to us. Maybe that's what you're trying to tell us that that's where Michael Jackson soul went. And Prince, can you imagine if Prince and Michael Jackson soul went to a whole new planet? And then they sent back signals. I bet those signals sound really cool. I dearly beloved, we're gathered here today with this close-up picture of Judy Foster. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to celebrate this thing we call contact. All right, here's the deal. But what Twilight Zone told us was, if the book is titled To Serve Man, then we got problems. Cause I don't want to be food, but they could be like, well, the cows didn't want to be food either. And they'd be like, oh man, or locking us in a box. Or, yeah, I don't know, that all gets to the higher levels of energy and emotion and control and balance in the universal system. Yeah, see science thinks that, but like I was reading on the Vatican <laughs> Observatory website. You, whoa today. Yeah, and I they don't believe that. They think that any aliens we find, they're going to be like our saviors. We might have to toss the whole Bible out and forget everything that we believe in because they will probably have a higher level spirituality and may even be gods themselves. It would be interesting to see how they try to toss the Bible out. I know they've tried to do that with many works that were considered divinely scribed and possibly authored or edited by. It's a subject I could go on for days about, like, I don't know, should we talk about writing, writers, power? Astronomers have picked up a strong radio signal from space. Strong signal stirs interest in a hunt for alien life. I don't know, they just, like, picked up and ran with it today, they said, because, uh, Centaurus dreams or something like that. Centauri dream. Seems like a big story to just throw out there all of a sudden. What does that mean? Strong signal stirs interest in hunt for alien life. Like, there was no interest before? Well, yeah, but it gets boring, because it's like, yeah, we get a signal, it's nothing. Oh, my. 2016. So, yeah, maybe aliens contacted us a year ago. Confirms the people who were shadow and cloaking it. In the smoky back rooms for a year? Yeah, for a year. And then now, all of a sudden, I guess Eddie's gonna take a look at it. Maybe, I don't know, they're gonna talk about it. Woohoo! Eddie's on the job. We're gonna talk about it next month. 